What's going on, everybody? My name is Brandon. This is Potty Mouth Sports, your spot for uncensored and unfiltered sports opinions. Today, we are coming with episode 35 of Zooming with the Boys. We're going to go over uh, October for the NBA, first couple weeks of the season. Just going to give our hot takes on who's hot, who's not, who's overperforming, who's underperforming. We'll talk about the James Harden rule, uh, foul rule change and the potential uh, fast break rule change that's right down the pipeline we got a uh, special guest today go ahead and introduce yourself making your pms on, debut i'm nick i'm just here to shoot the shit about basketball essentially and just talk about them talk about the underperformers the lakers the <laughs> oh, he's coming in hot all right the bucks that are sitting at 10th right now that's a shock fucking greasy but Tons of tons of season left. We got about 70, 70 plus games for everybody left. So there's tons of fucking season, tons of injuries that are probably going to happen. Fortunately, it is the league of the band aid. So, um, Nate, why don't you take it off and tell us how your Raptors are doing, bud? Well, Raps are looking pretty good right now, considering their best player, in my opinion, Pascal has been out. We got a sexy new rookie, Scotty Barnes. The scouting report was so far was completely off by him. Everyone thought we should have taken uh, Jalen Suggs, but uh, no, the guy looks like a fucking mini uh, Greek freak out there. You know, Jesus, he's uh, number one in uh, rookie ranking right now. Can do everything. He can guard one to five, spread the floor. The uh, offensive rebounding machine. But, double uh, double machine. Double double machine. Just, uh, <laughs> no, he looks really good. Gary Trent Jr., I don't know what happened to him in the offseason, but he's leading the league in steals. Last night, he got six steals. The night before, the game before, he got five. The game before that, he got four. Like, he got the bag, bud. He's in the offseason. He's a fucking pest out there, and I love it. Got the bag, and he's. Starting to prove it now. Love the most it. improved player that I uh, I predicted, OG Ananobi. I don't know what happened to him, too. There's mini Kawhi coming out to play now. <laughs> oh, here we go. Holy All fuck. these comparisons. I love it. <laughs> OG Ananobi actually looks ridiculous. Like, he got a hand. Like, I think that he spent some VC in the offseason and he got a handle package. Spent some VC. But uh, no, he, he looks really good. Van Vliet. I think he's uh, he's taking this like he thinks he's the king of the Raptors now, and he takes. I, I find he's taking shots that are just unneeded a lot of the times. So, like he, some games he goes off, some games he's fucking terrible. He had one uh, one game this season. He dropped seventeen dimes, which was pretty cute. Maybe he should just pass the ball around and stop shooting the ball. But uh, and then we got this new guy. I can't pronounce his name to save my life. See Steve McCullough or whatever the fuck. Some white dude. Unreal. Like I had no expectations for this guy. I thought he was just going to be, you know, sitting on the bench cheering the boys on, but he got a starting role ever since, uh, well, Scotty Barnes went down for two games. So he was starting, but he's coming off the bench. I think like 20, 25 minutes a game. And he is like a sharp shooting machine. He can drive the hoop. He's got handles just, you know, I'm pretty excited for the boys right now, but uh, it's early. But, you know, I, I have high hopes. I think we easily make the, the play-in tournament. If not, we get six, seven seed this year. Like, we're just – our team is so long and so big that we can defend everything. We're ranked right now. I know it's early, but we're first in defensive points in the paint. We allow the least amount of defensive – or offensive points in the paint. Uh, we have the most steals out of every team so far. Like team teams are, I don't want to say they're scared to play against us, but they're they got to change their whole game plan when they come and play the Raptors. Like you could take Fred Van Vliet out, and you could have uh, Scotty Barnes at the one, or you could have our rookie Bant- Banton, who's like a Lamelo Ball six nine point guard, and you could have OG at the two, Barnes at the three when Spicy comes back at the four, or you can small play small ball and have spicy at the five Barnes at the four OG at the three. Like it's just our team defensively is a nightmare for any team in the league. 
I can't wait till we play the Lakers and we fucking spank their slow. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a sight to see. Let me tell you, last year we were terrible and we spanked the Lakers both games. So I'll just just getting uh, warmed up here. But uh, I'm glad to wow. see that you can actually put on one of your team's jerseys in this video, uh, Brandon. You haven't worn a Dolphins jersey in a couple of weeks now. I don't think that will happen. But I'm sure that jersey will come off in the near, near future too. So. I don't see it, bud. Uh, just starting to warm up, just starting to click. Uh, had a couple of rough games against the Thunder. Uh, no big deal. We'll just chalk it up to uh, it's a feeling out period. But uh, I kind of I kind of want to hear the other rapper fan takes the the fucking fake fans in this goddamn Zoom chat. So Jordan, what Jordan, do you, what do you think about your team, the Toronto Raptors? <laughs> yeah. The Raptors? I yeah. think. Uh, I yeah, think, we'll get all the Raptors. I think, I think they're right overperforming now. a little yeah. bit, and uh, I think there's a lot of teams underperforming. That, like for instance, the Bucks, the Celtics. They're right now they're not in a playoff spot and can't tell me they're not going to make the playoffs at the end of the season because I think they will. And I don't, I think they will be a higher seed than the Raptors. Like it's the fucking bucks. Like, come on. Oh, yeah. They have a lot of injuries right now. Like, they, yeah, I know, but no, I think they're playing great and I love to see it. No way around it. Nick, what do you <laughs> think, bud, about your, uh, your great white North? I think they're going to be a good playing team. Playing team, same as the Celtics. Celtics yeah, I think that I think they will make the plan. I think they will make the plan too. Now, personally, I think, yeah, I think once the playoffs come, though, you're going to see a lot of those Raptors players, the young ones especially, deteriorate hard. This is regular season basketball. It's not playoff basketball. Everybody knows when that playoff time comes, uh, it all gets elevated. So, Scotty Barnes could perform. He could drop forty the night before. The next night. That, that defense is going to kick in and it's going to kick his ass. So I think our young core, they're not, they might make the playoffs, but they're not going to go far in the playoffs. Yeah, you could take that fucking jersey off your wall at any time. <laughs> uh, I guess as the, uh, the Soul Laker fan, I'll pick up where I left off. Uh, not really playing too hot right now. I, I'm just going to chalk it up to a feeling out period. Bronze out for a week with the abdominal strain. Um, it's just starting now. Can't wait to, for a couple of weeks until AD, you know, puts a Band-Aid on, maybe hurts his leg, hurts his arm, whatever it's going to be. He's going to hurt himself. Uh, pace of play offensively. I mean, Russ is making good passes out there. He's got good vision. It's just the open – when we do pick and rolls and then we dish off to the wing, it's Russ who's open because the defense is leaving him open and Russ is the one taking the shot and he's literally a brick. He's fucking brutal shooting. So if we can try and find a way to open up either like Kent base more or whoever's coming off the bench playing shooting guard or mellow, even if he's on, if he's on the court, we need to start doing that rather than Russ. We need to figure out uh, an offensive scheme where, they actually pick up Russ. Maybe Russ crashes to the paint and then a uh, wing Carmelo comes out on the wing. Somehow we need to figure out a play to get our shooters open and not Russell Westbrook. Um, defensively, just absolutely fucking atrocious. No way around it. Uh, just a lazy team on defense, but we're going to chalk that up to age. It's like we fucking turn over the ball in the offensive end or, you know, they'll get a defensive rebound and it's fast break city and the Lakers just can't compete because LeBron's just hanging out in the offensive end the whole time until, you know, the ball's about to be checked in and he will come back to just to run the floor again. But uh, yeah, just defensively, we're just slow, lazy. That'll pick up over time, I believe, as well. We'll be able to uh, utilize our lineup a bit more and LeBron's not hesitant to send somebody off if they, if need be. Well, so cu probably a couple months, two, three months, right before the all-star break, like Lakers roster isn't finalized till the trade dead deadlines done. So LeBron doesn't like what he sees out there. LeBron, uh, Le manage gets into his paperwork and ships people Le off. Manager. And <laughs> Le manager, uh, figures it out for a, a postseason <sighs> push. 
not really scared. I think the Lakers will make the postseason regardless. Um, fuck, I don't, I don't see us being a play-in team this year. Hopefully not. If we are, Jesus, like, yeah, brings this. a fucking tear to my eye. I don't get the no. fantasy of Rondo and Russ running the ball together. That yeah, my mind. They need to stop doing that as well. This, this Two non-shooting fucking guards in the backcourt just doesn't make sense. Frank Vogel needs to figure his shit out. I I can't remember if in 2020 Frank Vogel won Coach of the Year. I think he no. did. No, I don't think so. Oh, it might 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 have been uh, Mike Utah. Budenhauser or some shit, but. Yeah, Frank's not a good coach. I don't even think he coaches. And it was really good. Like, our championship run, we had Jason Kidd, who was actually, like, the coach behind the scenes, even though he was an assistant coach, which we don't have Jason Kidd anymore. So, it's uh, Le Manage, Le Coach, uh, Le GM, everything, all bottled up into one, and Le Point Guard. So, uh, yeah. Just to basically sum it up, Lakers need to fucking step it up. Need more energy on the court. Uh, the league is fucking young now. It's a lot. It's very fast paced. A lot of a lot of fucking three point shots. And uh, yeah, they need to step up their fucking energy game because it's really showing to begin the season. Um, let's get into uh, some of the other fucking teams. New York Knicks looking fucking sexy out there. Uh, Jules, I've had him in fantasy last year. He was a fucking diamond in the rough, but I wouldn't even say a diamond in the rough. I expect that guy to pop, and he's popping, popping again this year. Uh, I haven't really heard much about RJ Barrett. No surprise oh, there. He's the guy on that team right now. If you, Dude, he's if, playing so he, well. He is yeah. playing so good. 19 points a game. That's good. And he is a defensive anchor for that team. He yeah. locks. He locks everybody up. Yeah. And they got D Rose. Uh, haven't heard much about Mitchell Robinson either. Um, nice to see because Madison Square Garden is fucking nuts. <clears throat> they have Kemba Walker too. Is Kemba injured or something? I haven't heard no, Jack. He's just a bum. He's just, just a bum. Okay. Yeah. They have Evan, Evan Fournier who will go shoot, well, have 25 points or 30 points one game and then 12 the next. He has his role. Catch the ball, shoot it, don't do anything more. Yeah. That's it. Um, Came up big for them the other night. That was about it. Not overtime, overtime game. Chicago Bulls. Great. My I pick to go far. Yeah, I expected to, go expected to look good, though. Yeah. <laughs> they got the roster, man. Like, the just the pieces all fit together so perfectly on that team, I find. 2016, Derek Rose, or uh, <laughs> the Rosen's back. DeMar Rosen's nuts, 27 man. a game. I love the My braids. I love the, the full fucking tats. Just... Yeah, he no one nuts. can guard him mid range. I've He's noticed nuts. so far. It's it's actually insane. I got the night, 39. 39 I got his fucking night. violent. Oh, yeah, God. they came. Then they come back by like fucking third over thirty points with only like, like 30, 20, 26 or some shit or twenty with like forty seconds left in the third quarter. So basically, only one quarter left in the game. To the Celtics, they just, and they yeah. bombed them too by like twenty. Oh, I don't, I I don't expect do. much from that team. The two biggest pickups from that team were fucking Caruso and Lonzo Ball. Like they're, I know um, they yeah, it just build the stat sheets, but they're so smart and they're, it, it's just and they're pests. Yeah, Caruso is a big accident. defensive pest. Lonzo's yeah. a good defensive point guard, but mainly because of his size. But like he can rebound, he can he like. His two balls on point this year too. It's just it was like they were just like the missing pieces of the puzzle. Now it's just they're Levine, fucking working. I just go for it. Go for it. I just don't see them shaping up well against a team with like a big big center because that their center there. What's his name? Vucevic. He's like he's good, but like if he goes up against like, someone with a big like big five, they they seem to get a little. Into a little bit of trouble. He, he shoots too. I was surprised to see that this year. He's shooting the rock a lot more yeah. in the three, and he, and, he, and he misses it, and he just forgets that he missed the shot. He was like zero for six the other night, and they still managed to win. I don't, I don't know how they did it. I don't. Levine, Levine on the stat sheet though, it shows twenty five points a game. I don't know if anybody's actually watched the Chicago Bulls game. Levine hucks that ball until he gets his points. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. he is underperforming this year. He's a he's a big. 
not not an issue, but he's, I mean, they, he's they got of, they got their peer, they got their bench, yeah. they got yeah. their scores and Levine and DeMar DeRozan, their peer scores, and then they have their their facilitators and like Lonzo and shit. So like really just their rebounds women's. would be the only uh the only like a like Nate said, just a powerhouse in the center. But then again, like we're playing basketball where there's like stretch five, like yeah, it'll be nice to have that big guy in there, but like you can also beat them with speed and shooting on the outside. And really, the center can just pull off to the three point line if he's a th- if he's a big enough threat. That center has to guard him, regardless. So you're pulling that big guy out of the fucking paint, anyways. My phone just went off. Uh, Pascal's coming back Sunday for the Nets. Yeah, that's dope. Um, Miami Heat look good out there too. Uh, Tyler Hero is. Uh, fucking balling trying to make a claim for that fucking number one spot against the old Kyle oh, Lowry. I was playing all right too though. I think Kyle was playing. Performing. Yeah. Jimmy's uh Jimmy's doing Jimmy. Bam's doing thing Bam. Is, though, is like Kyle Kyle's gonna bring the defense better than Tyler Hero any day of the week. That's the thing. Yeah that team's got the Kyle Lowry effect going on right now. What's that? Baller little bulls out there Buddy, he brings up running around confidence to everybody he's a fucking animal he's he an might nba not up, champion he might not put up 20 points a game but he makes his impact elsewhere bud bam's having a career hey, guys, flopping all over the court who bam bam's having a really good year a lot of it's a lot of it's credit to kyle lowry i believe a lot of the centers kyle lowry par- plays with he makes them look extremely good he gets in their points. I always loved Kyle Lowry. Guys got hurt more than anyone. What about the Wizards? The Wizards are. I like the Wizards, Wizards this year. Montrez Harold, man. I like guys, Washington. That guy's man. balling this year. Oh, fuck. That uh, Westbrook trade really fucking uh, helped that team out. Did anything. you hear that sports analyst? Oh, fuck, I don't know if it was on ESPN. Called him Westbrook. Yeah. Like, yeah. Tried to act like it was like an accident, but it, it was Fisher. not an act. It was Derek Fisher. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Called him Westbrook on, on national TV. <laughs> yeah, Derek Fisher is too busy fucking other people's wives. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's personal, eh? When it ever comes to the Lakers. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's pretty funny how Derek Fisher was sleeping with Matt Burns' wife, and Matt Burns and Steven Jackson got in the car and beat the living fuck out of him. So. Yeah, I don't think like Matt Burns is really a guy you fuck with. Steven Jackson's especially guy. You don't yeah, Steven Jackson. He's, he's a fucking nut. You don't with yeah. Stack Jack, you don't fuck with him. He, he punched a fan in the face for fuck's sake. Darren Witty on the on the Wizards back to their thing. He was a very underrated signing this on the offseason. Nobody really talked about Dinwiddie leaving. He's got 17 and 9 this year. He's uh, I like Dinwiddie. Yeah. I really like Dinwiddie. And then then they sell Bradley Beal too. Like if they if they can get Kuzma and KCP going, because those guys have been like are hit and miss characters to begin with. If they can get them having some sort of consistent productivity, they can they can do something. He's been all right. He's actually been not too bad. Better than when he was on the Lakers. So. Well, I'll never be able to get that fucking preseason picture or video out of my mind of him flailing all over the court trying to make a layup. <laughs> Traveling, <laughs> yeah, he double fucked dribble. up huge. <laughs> Tra- Travel, like, double matter dribble matter in seconds. one play. Yeah. Matter um, one play, he fucked up bad. They, <laughs> team, they didn't lose too many pieces from last year, other than Westbrook, and they added in like five fucking key pieces. So, look out for the Wizards. They're, I think they'll be a playoff team this year. Low uh, seat. Low seat. Uh, Boston Celtics, a little bit of drama. Marcus Smart calling out fucking Jalen Brown and uh, Jason Tatum, passing the ball, or to facilitate a bit more. Um, I don't see it being as big as the media is trying to chalk it up to be. Like, he, he kind of said it, it. Like, you can tell in the tone of a player whether he's, like, attempting to, like, straight up call out or if he's pissed off. Like, obviously, he's frustrated, but he he didn't seem to really pissed off or bothered by it. You know, he was just stating a fucking fact. Uh, I think that's a real one, though. Like, he, he, he's going to say what's on his mind. Yeah. Right and, here. like, they'll figure it out. It's the Celtics. Like, they, they'll get their shit together. I don't yeah. really uh, – I didn't really like the Al Horford uh, bring back, but whatever. You need somebody. He's actually been playing all right. And they don't have Brad Stevens this year. That's a big hit. 
yeah. with the coach. They still have that yeah. monster center, fucking Williams or whatever the hell. It's yeah, he's been called. playing good too, Robert Williams. Yeah, he's good. Yeah. Utah. Um, Oh, 76ers waiting to see what happens with this. Basically, Ben Simmons and Kyrie Irving are on ice at this point. Like fucking Steve Nash said, uh, came out publicly and said, if uh, well, if whenever the New York City changes their vaccine mandate, Kyrie's coming back. And then the fucking, I think it was the city in New York doubled down and was just like, yeah, we're not changing our mandate. No. <laughs> like, and uh, yeah, so Kyrie's still sitting down. Uh, ben Simmons, that's a bit of a bit more of a circus, in my opinion. Like, he's, he pulled the mental health card, which obviously, if you're going through shit, you're going through shit. Uh, doesn't want to go to uh, team advised doctors, which. I mean, I kind of understand if you want to go through therapy, you want to go to somebody you trust and can actually talk to, not somebody like the way the media tried to point it out. They were just like, uh, yeah, well, like the team doctor is going to be on the team side regardless. Like there can be bias and he, the team doctor can just be like, yeah, he's ready to go, even though he may not be ready to go. So they might just check it off early. Uh, so I don't really blame Ben in that sense, but they're starting to find him again, 360000 a game. He just doesn't want to be there. Like, I, I, yeah, I don't think he does either. So, like, like just, just if he didn't care. Just got to come out and say it. Yeah, I just got to do something. Fuck. He would have been playing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, he's – I don't know. Said it throughout the offseason he wanted to trade, and he tried to find one. The GM said he didn't want to trade. Oh, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. Your player doesn't want to be there. It doesn't matter if you don't get what you want for him. Get rid of him because he's affecting your team. He's making your locker room bad. I'm surprised they're doing as good as they yeah, are. Yeah, they're, 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 they're first place. So, I yeah. mean, I guess it's not really affecting them too much on the he court. so bad last offseason, too, that, like, they're not going to get what they want for him. They just need to realize that. Yeah. They You're need getting to get a point guard that can't shoot. That's what people got to realize. So, yeah. like – that what you can get or the guy's just going to be gone and you're going to get nothing. And if you have to sacrifice draft capital and Ben Simmons to get a star, I think you should really do that. You're a team that, why are you worried about your draft picks? The process, the like you're going to be in the playoffs for the next fucking at least five. So, so unless you thing without them, like they're, they're doing completely fine. And then just to add another offensive piece or even a defensive piece would be, it would make their team even better. And like, they have no problem being the top three seed in the East every year. So, and that's a lot of it's to do with Joel Embiid. So I think the signing of Andre Drummond was the best signing. One of the best signings of the off season. I just thought it was because, horrible, but then it just turned out phenomenal. So I, well, now I, I see yeah. that like they can rest Joel Embiid as much as they want, and Drummond will come in. And for some reason, that dude is fucking balling this year when he has the starting role. When he comes off the bench, he's like whatever. But when he, he started, man, people forget how good he was. Like he was, yeah, he's, he was, he's, a, he's, he's an a automatic double double. Like, and then with this Philadelphia system as well, like he just picks up where Joel left off. Yeah, yep. exactly. Um, yeah, Milwaukee Bucks need to sign, uh, step up. I, yeah, four and five, not a good, not a hot start, but they'll figure their shit out. Giannis is just, Giannis, is, Giannis. Just, is Drew Holiday injured? Uh, I can't remember. Yes, I believe so. I like the first three or four games that I watched, he didn't play. So him and Middleton have been kind of out, right? It's him, Middleton. Uh, they got this Grayson Allen guy who can shoot. Uh, Lopez is out too. Yeah, Lopez so is uh, out. Portis was out, but now he's yeah, back. Yeah, so's Bobby, but yeah, he's back. So, like I'm not worried about them whatsoever. Once no. they're healthy, they're gonna be fine. Oh yeah, yeah. The, the, the champs they'll figure it out. Giannis is dying out there though. He's the doing. Guy's a freak. Thing. Yeah, no, he like he's got to like they need to get some boys back so he can kind of. Then they start with his brother the other night. Yeah, they've been doing that. Oh, they have been doing that. Yeah, and that's how you know center. they're. That's how you know they're short. No offense to Thanos. He's a... Raptors got the other uh, brother, right? They have Costas. On the 905. They have Costa. Yeah, whatever the fuck. <laughs> fuck <laughs> Enough. Holy fuck. We have good development. I think we can turn him into Giannis. A little too far now. Oh, we got Scotty Barnes, man. That's Giannis too uh, far. Enough. 
I got the burn mucker. Let's go. I can't wait for Scotty Barnes to lock LeBron up. Fuck me. You do know, man, he's like half the size of LeBron. Then <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll make hey, a bro, take right now. Regard, yeah. Regardless of the fucking record of this team, whatever it ends up to be, I, I think Jalen Green's gonna win rookie of the year. No. Yeah, I'll call that now. Off bias alone, in my opinion. I don't know. I don't know what he's putting up, but I just don't know how the the rotation is going to go when Pascal get, comes back. Is Barnes might come off the bench now, which I hope he doesn't. I mean, I if he's hot, you got to fucking play him out. I hope they put OG at the two and keep Scotty at the three, but you never know. Uh, yeah. Uh, Charlotte Hornets. I expect a little bit more out of them as well, in my opinion. Uh, the Ubre pick wasn't like Ubre is like a mid kind of guy. He's like super mid. Uh, well, so, so far, doing so okay that, so far. Yeah, that that wasn't gonna be a fucking game changer, but I'm expecting like Lamelo's got to have a good sophomore year. Like a, a lot of the team success is gonna be chalked up to him and Derry Rozier in the backfield. Uh, I think they need to play them together more. Uh, they they, they got to have a dual threat. They got to either play play them even even minutes and have them come off the bench for each other or play them together and play them for like 30 minutes a game. Um, i trying to think of who the fuck else on that team. P.J. Washington. Hayward. Hayward. Miles. Yeah. Bridges. Too. Yeah, Miles Bridges <laughs> has been playing good. Um yeah, no, I think they'll figure it out too. I they'll probably be a play-in team this year as well, or like an ace seed or something. But like the, the this whole East East is least shit. And that's coming to an end. The conferences are pretty like squared up. There's probably like you could almost say East is stronger now, man. Yeah, like they're they're it's gonna be a tough battle straight up because you got what? Let's see three teams that aren't even in the top eight right now that are going to be playoff teams. There's no way around it. Atlanta, Boston, and Milwaukee. That would kick probably Cleveland out, Toronto out. Easy. And uh, probably Washington. You got Chicago in the playoffs for like the first time in a long fucking time. But yeah, man, it's a solid, solid 10 teams. And the, and the Indiana Pacers, like, they got to fucking step their goddamn game up, too. Like, what the fuck's going on with them? If Three and don't. seven. Brogdon got hurt, like, the second game or third game. Well, yeah, and he was balling, too. Up. Brogdon yeah. was. He was going Herb off. Herb just came back from fucking injury. <laughs> they TJ Warren's hurt. Like, Sabon, Sabonis isn't playing nearly as good as he should be. He's a fucking bum this year right now. Miles Turner's tapped up, though. Yeah. He needs okay. to get out of Indiana. Like, yeah, that team's, that team's a fucking – like, if they can get their health shit together, that team's a potential fucking playoff team as well. Like, yeah, there's a lot of fucking teams in the East. A lot of people underestimate them. Let's uh, let's bring it over to the West. Fucking John ja Morant snapping. Leading the league in points in the paint. <laughs> that's a man. Crazy, man. That's, a, that's a man's man. He's going to fucking turn into fucking Derrick Rose real soon if he isn't relax. With the all these fucking jumping well, up fucking need, 50 feet I, in the air. I, I they need like, to get the guy some fucking help. Yeah, I don't like watching that shit, man. It does look like, like he's going to come down and just bust a fucking leg or something. That's like, what I mean, man. The way he fucking comes down on both legs. He's just so, it's just because he's so skinny. I think that's what it is. Yeah. Like. He elevated oh, the three-point shooting too. I was he, he's shooting the ball he's way a, more than anybody. He's expected. a fucking killer, that kid. John Morant he is, is shooting the ball. He he's got that killer kid. fucking mentality. They have uh, <clears throat> oh no, never mind. Wrong, wrong team there. How I look stupid there. I mean, I'm expecting more out of Brandon Clark on that roster as well. I I know he's probably I don't think he's getting the minutes that he deserves, but he also needs to step it the fuck up. They're not making playoffs. I don't think so this year. They don't Play have in. It's the John Morant show. Like they got rid of I'm um, they did a, f- a flip for Jonas or Jonas Valanciunas and fucking Steven Adams. That's so dumb. Jonas is going off this He's year. Snapping. Yeah, Jonas Valanciunas, yeah. I like free Jonas because the Pelicans are fucking trash. 
and yeah, but Brandon Ingram's been out. Game. Zion's fucking three hundred and ninety fucking pounds. Well done, man. He's got to go on a diet program. Still, man. Yeah, yeah. he's. He, I called yeah, that so, I as soon as he came in the league. Yeah, Zion's. He's gonna come back, and then he's gonna be injured again, in my opinion. You know what, fucking, so, like, you might as well just count that guy out for the fucking you know season. Charles Barkley said, or whatever. <laughs> yeah, it looked like uh, him and Shaq had a baby. <laughs> it's fucking facts, man. Like the guy is fuck. He's not that tall. What is he? Six seven, six eight. Six six. Know, he walks like six, a six. He was just way too big, way too young, man. And it's a lot of weight on your fucking he's... knees and ankles. And he's he, like he's still growing. <laughs> like, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> fuck. Yeah, and, and like touch the playoffs. It sucks to like fat shame somebody, but like, fuck, man, you're a professional athlete. Like, get the fucking shape. I know it's hard to get in shape when you have a fucking injury on your leg to like run and shit and like stay in shape, get your cardio in, but like, fucking eat properly too. Yeah, like, turn into Zach Randolph or what? Probably. I'm pretty sure I saw Zion. Zach Randolph. <laughs> I saw Zion in the Burger King drive through like three times last week. <laughs> fucking straight up. Man. You got the bag from fucking. Uh, Jordan, so like he doesn't give a fuck. He you got the bag of you got the bag of fucking, fucking whoppers. He's gonna give a fucking four years when you know he's not in the league anymore, or he fucking calls it quits because he can't fucking stay healthy, and he looks back and says, "Wow, if I could go back and change shit, I would." I don't even think he could dunk right now, man. Oh, he, look at look at Shaquille O'Neal. He fucking regrets not being in shape throughout his fucking tenure, and the guy's won fucking fi- uh, five, no, four rings. He's shredded right now, too. Who? Shaq? Shaq? Oh, yeah. From what, DJing? No, no, he, he went on like this crazy diet. He's fucking pretty ripped right now. Well, Better shape than he ever was in the NBA, and the guy's an old as fucking old as fuck. Does that make sense? Google him. Google him. <laughs> Um, fuck. Let's see here. Uh, Minnesota Timberwolves. Uh, that'll probably be my sleeper pick in the West. I think yeah. the like. Shouts out my boy Alex Rodriguez for you know chipping in on the investment and fucking buying the team with Mark Lore. Um, well, investing in the team and Mark Lore. I I think they get their shit together. They got a good program down there. If, if Cat can stay healthy, Anthony Edwards is a bad fucking man dude, as well. I'm not dude, man. Anthony Edwards is nuts. Uh, D'Angelo Russell, if he can just stay consistent product, uh, yeah. productivity-wise, which I yeah highly doubt. He's too busy snitching on his teammates. Um, Buddy, that, you relax on that. That was so it's Cat, fucking Cat's been awesome. underperforming, I love too. D'Lo. Cat's been kind of underperforming. Like he, like, he isn't balling like he should be. Like He's playing good, but too busy Patrick, for the fucking call, dude. Patrick Beverly is just out there injuring people like he usually does. I hate that fucker. I wish he would just leave the league and go yeah, south me too. Out of the fucking street or something. I fucking hate him. Is that Patrick Pat Bev trick? Hate him, Pat dude. Pat Bev trick? <laughs> they're, they're a good eight seed. Good eight seed if they can make another plan. I think fucking so, too. I hope they don't Pat disappoint and just trick. tip the fuck over. But, Again. Yeah. Uh, Spurs, yeah, I don't really see much coming from G League the, team. Yeah, the Spurs. Yeah. They got rid of Patty Mills, and Patty Mills has been playing pretty good for the fucking Nets. Uh, I wouldn't say he's Kyrie level, but I mean, he can drain the fucking three. Uh, he's just missing that facilitating aspect to his game, but that's why James Harden's there. James Harden can facilitate. He, James Harden, I think, is taking a step back in his scoring approach to facilitate more with. Kyrie not being there. They're obviously missing Kyrie. Um, the Rockets are shit. Straight up. Just a bunch of young bucks. Like, Christian Wood's nasty. Jalen Green's good. I, like, give it a couple years. If they can put some pieces around those two, they could be dangerous. But John Wall coming back this year? Probably not, no. man. He's just there to milk his 125 mil contract. And go. What's wrong with it? He's injured the guy. I, don't know, I was gonna say uh, when I looked at the injury report thing on like fantasy, it, like it doesn't even say like it says not injury related illness or something like that. So who the fuck knows what it is? Thought it was his foot again. Thought he was bitching about his foot. He always did. Yeah, I don't fucking know, man. Um, Portland not getting it done. Four and five, sitting at tenth right now. They're gonna. They're gonna. Do well. Yeah, they'll they'll kick it into overdrive. Dame will figure shit out. Yeah, he's not playing the best right now. 
Hasn't um, been name time lately. No. That trade, that Norman Powell trade was the dumbest trade they could ever made, in my opinion. They just I mean, won't... he's actually – he hasn't even been playing bad. No, he I know. Really good last game. Trent's a fucking animal. They could have they could use him. But yeah, but I think Gary Trent popped because he got a different opportunity. Yeah, I think they both work well. He's a guard. Each of their teams. Dame Lillard's getting the ball. Dame Lillard, whenever he wants, is dropping 40 or 50. They, so. st- they still got CJ McCollum who can pop off. <clears throat> Not too. He dropped four last night. Apparently he's dropping 40 or 50 this year. I don't know what his issue is, but hopefully. That's the thing, man, with out. McCollum. He can pop, he'll pop 30, and then the next game he'll pop 10. Like, he's just inconsistent. I want uh, him to go to a good team, though, man. I, like, I I would have loved to see him go to the Lakers this offseason. Is that? Damian Damian Lillard. Lillard. Oh, damn, yeah. That would have been nice. Been, it would have been nice. <clears throat> no, well, too, too loyal. Now we get to experience, uh, experience the Russell Westbrook experiment. Uh, Clippers, I mean, they're four and four. No uh, Kawhi. No Kawhi. Didn't, and it's all on Paul George's shoulders. So he should be at the top of that record. Kind of that record kind of shows how their team is, in my opinion. Paul George having thirty. They're they're a right at five hundred team. Paul George is great, but they need they need Kawhi. Is Serge back yet? No, no. Serge has been out too. Like they don't have a Baca. He's a great player. That's his lower back again. Zubac doesn't get it done. Tell you that. No. See, Serge can play the fucking center. He can uh, shoot threes. He can pop off for threes some games. Like, man, Zubac is just point presence. That's it. Zubac is getting dropped in fantasy soon. You mark my yeah. words. He doesn't do much. Denver Nuggets need to step the fuck up, too. Four and four. Uh, they have some good pieces, but uh, is Jamal Murray pulling a fucking Clay Thompson? Is he out for like two years or some shit? Or when's that his ass coming he's back? ACL, you sick man. What? He's tore his ACL at the end. Oh, give it a rub, get surgery, and fucking get the fuck back out there, bud. You're fucked. I can see him coming back for Christmas. That's about it. That's the earliest I can see him coming back from this injury. Yeah. Um. They're messing they're him. Also, like they're dumb, man. They signed uh, Aaron Gordon and fucking uh, the kid there. What's his name? Uh, small forward. He's a kid. He remember he had like back surgery before he came in the league, and he missed his first year. Fuck's his name? Oh, oh give me a sec. Good. I'll go to their roster. They signed him to a bag, man. Michael Porter. Yeah, Mike Porter Jr. So they're they're gonna be in some. Uh, He's on Joker team. and uh, Murray's contracts up. They're they're gonna be fucked, dude. Yeah, Will Bart Will Barton's playing pretty good. Um, I mean, your other guard is Austin Rivers for fuck's sake. It's embarrassing. Yeah, Michael Porter. Like, if they can get Jamal back, that team will step it the fuck up. Um, yeah, really. Uh, Phoenix Suns, I don't think, are going to be as good as they were last year. I think teams are just going to adapt to them defensively. Uh, just that fast, that fast pace. They'll be in the playoffs. They'll yeah. be in the playoffs, but I just don't think they'll be the threat that they were last year. Like they came into the playoffs last year, and it like it's just a completely it was a completely different pace of basketball. No one could fucking keep up with them in the Western Conference. Like they were just fucking running the floor quick too, popping threes left, right, and center. Aiden was fucking doing his thing in the paint. Like, and nobody could playing, fucking do. Yeah. yeah, he's not playing the way he was playing last year. They didn't sign him to his money. He doesn't care. And, uh, the fucking team everyone's uh saying's going to the chip Stephen a fucking uh golden state warriors looking pretty fucking sex out there steph baby's back doing his thing bench is fucking great too uh jordan Poole stepped at the fuck up damian lee stepped at the fuck up um rookies are doing good too they, they're right. gonna be even fucking more lethal when fucking clay thompson comes back and they dish the fucking Draymond Green in the paint and Draymond can pick between Clay or Steph for an automatic three. So I think Clay comes back and he's just a spot up shooter. That's it. That's all he needs. That's all he's ever really oh, been. No, though. no, but he he's he's like, a good defensive guard as well. Oh, yeah. he's a great defensive guard, but like offensively, he's always like he he doesn't really make create his own shot. Like 
I like, don't let Steph fucking... run around like a fucking maniac. Yeah. You don't need yeah. to. Gary Payton exactly. driving anymore. He used to be like, Gary Payton Jr. He, he is a fucking <laughs> animal on defense. I don't know if you guys watch this motherfucker play. Wow. Gets he, it from he, his pops, man. The he, glove. He, he was harassing them the other night on defense. I think he had they like look, three skills on the block and nobody could get past them. Lamelo Ball faked an injury just to get just to get the ball back in his hand. It was a smart play, but that kid's that kid was a fucking great signing. I don't know where this came from. He was with your Lakers, I think, at one point. Yeah, he was. And uh, I think he was just rolling the G League for the last couple of years ish, popping in and out of the league and just sitting there waiting. Like his dad's Gary Payton. Yep. He's going he's gonna do something out there. It's not like it's not like Doc Rivers and Austin Rivers. Like yeah. Doc was never that <laughs> that guy, and nor is Austin. Gary Payton, one depoy, the only fucking point guard to win depoy. So Utah. Uh, anybody else got anything to fucking say? I mean, we Utah. I'm pretty impressed. We fucking uh, we just we covered fucking everybody today. I want to talk about the Jazz quick. Yeah, yeah, go off. Top top of the West, second round exit. Every year, it happens every year. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want. I don't want to hear anything on social media. Anything about anything about this team that's saying they're going to the finals. Like they do every year. They're they they choke. I don't know what what's with Donovan. If it's Gobert, there's an issue. Every team in the playoffs. Every team in the playoffs knows how to beat this team down in the second round because they could perform phenomenal in the first. As soon as that second round comes, they get harassed offensively and defensively. I don't know. Uh, they're 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 overachieving to me this year. Rudy Gobert is literally a pole. Like he has That's no it. like offensive skill whatsoever. He gets all of his points off offensive rebounds, and like he's one of the only guys who will have ten points and fucking twenty seven rebounds. <laughs> like he just sits there, gets boards, and fucking puts it back if he can. Um, I'm surprised they still make it work on the court as well as well as they do. Because then uh, Donovan would say like. Didn't Donovan say like their fucking relationship will never be the same after like all the COVID bullshit with Rudy? Yeah, I think Kieran said they're good now. I yeah, know. they are good. Yeah. I think they got over it now that uh, you know everyone knows that it's not as life or death as uh, it was. Media tries to make it out to be true. True. Um, Dallas, I forgot about them. Yeah, Luca, they need to step it up too. But whether they're five and three, yeah. Um, Porzingis is out, but Porzingis is fucking up, down, left, right, anyways. Have a phenomenal night, and the next night he could drop one. Literally just one point, that's it. That's who he is. Waste of an investment. I know they were trying to put the two European guys together, but like I I just don't see it working out. Next time Chris stops, fucking contract comes up. I hope they don't re-sign him. Mark Cuban needs a fucking brain in his head. Uh, Tim Hardaway, they got Tim Hardaway Jr., He's up and down too. I'm trying to think of who else they have. Obviously Luca, but Luca just gonna do Luca things. Yeah, Luca just does what he does. Yeah, they don't. They just don't have that. Like, they don't have that second threat really. Like they have, they have like solid bench, like not bench players, but they they have sec, uh, solid role players. But that's really about it. They they need a guy that will let Luca come off ball more. But then again, Luca just plays his game anyways. He controls the whole game for the Dallas Mavericks. So I'm trying to think of fucking that's everybody, I think. Yeah, I think we just about the Hawks, but who gives a fuck about the Hawks? Yeah, fuck the Hawks. Ice Trey's been fucking ice, ice cold. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the no, that, affecting everybody. They'll they'll get their shit together eventually. Right. Uh, they'll they'll be a lower seed in the East, I think, and I don't see them going as far in the playoffs and milking the uh, the injury bag like they did last year. I think everyone will. I I have hope that everyone will have their shit together come playoff time, injury wise. So it it'll actually be fucking an even more intense playoff this year. It was good to see new teams in the finals, but. Then again, I want to see everybody compete for the finals, not just you know half a, half fucking teams. Um, yeah, no, I think we covered uh, anything, everything. Anybody else got anything to fucking plug in before we get the fuck out of here? 
Yeah, next uh, video. Every video that we have, slowly the more respect is going to go on to the boys. I guarantee. All right. Well, once the record, you know, pops up a bit, no, I'll be watching. Buddy, we have like the same record as the Lakers. You probably have a better record, to be honest, but it's also fucking two weeks into the season. Great right. Westbrook. Get rid of that guy. <laughs> I don't know how. I don't know how. Seventy-two games to go, boys. Yeah, <laughs> tons, tons of fucking time. The same time. thing every year with Westbrook. He sucks at the beginning. He's the best player in the world in the middle. Then at the end, everybody just goes, "Oh, fuck! What happened?" Yeah. Well, hopefully the fucking Lakers work around it with their injuries because it's pretty inevitable. They already started with Bron sitting down for a week, so they need to give Melo more minutes. The guys, I mean, been- fuck, man, he already gets like twenty. What, what, else, what else does he want? He's doing good. Well, he's going to get more with LeBron out, won't he? Yeah, exactly. He'll get 30. He's, he's awesome. playing good, though. He's running with the shock troops, as, as uh, Skip would say. I like I like, I like, like his role in that team. Yeah. Yeah. It's, about, and it's, it's good to see. Uh, it's good to see. The, it's weird, but it's fucking awesome to see LeBron and Melo on the same team and LeBron dish into Melo on the fucking outside. It is sick. Three. It's just it's weird sick. and sick at the same time. I believe I do open way too much, though. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. He hits nothing but net. Nothing. Doesn't even grace the rim. Just and, straight. Uh, straight. It, our team is basically like a 2011 all-star team, but it's also 2021. So <laughs> The foul rule, though. That's affecting everybody. Yeah, I that think everyone will work the kinks out. I think that the NBA – will eventually implement this fast break rule change as well for the fouls on the fast break. Cause like lazy ass fucking defensive teams. Once like a team gets the defensive rebounding goes to go up court and uh, make a fast break play, they foul them. And like, if you're not in the penalty, it's just going on to the sideline. Anyway, that shit's going to change. They're going to be given shots for that soon. So like the NBA doesn't waste any time changing the fucking game for the better. So I'm good. I'm glad that they took out that, you know, fucking three step into the fucking defender and get three automatic shots or a four point play. I'm glad they got rid of that bullshit because it was fucking trash to watch. No yeah, look how Harden. many, like how fucking uh, many less fucking free throws James Harden got because of it. No, no. <laughs> no man. Fucking ruin, ruins this whole game. I think the refs need to calm down with the techs. They're already getting ridiculous this year. Yeah, that's the thing that needs to change, too. Like, we need to go back to that fucking early 2000s style, but with the three-point shot actually being what it is now. Like, it, it would the game would just be fucking insane. Like, like, it's just not... You can't even be pumped up after you fucking slam it on somebody if you look at them and, like, say one... Uh, if you fine. hang off the rim too long, you get a tech. It's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> like, you're just hanging on the rim. Not just a sport. It's supposed to be entertainment, too. You know, yeah. like it's all like, fuck, man. I was looking at Miami Heat tickets for when I go to Florida in fucking January. 750 bucks for the fucking hundreds. Like, are you kidding Jesus. me? <laughs> like, you want me Kyle to spend? Lowry effect, bud. Well, it's 5,300. Like Kyle Lowry effect. 5,300 for courtside. 5,300. That's insane. Like Fucking Kyle Lowry. It's not the Kyle Lowry effect, but they were still <laughs> selling fucking tickets. Oh, yeah. Enough we're with the Kyle the Lowry bullshit. It's going to be all over the headlines. Kyle Lowry effect. All right. It's been uh, episode 35 of Zooming with the Boys. Um, we're going to be coming out with fucking monthly reviews every month, so stay tuned. It'll probably be the core four here. Maybe we'll get Sebastian Gauthier on here as well to talk about his fucking Chicago Bulls if they, you know, keep up the fucking record that they do and they don't Percent. sizzle out. Um, might be plugging in new guests once in a while, but Nick, if you're always welcome to come on and shoot the shit with the boys on NBA. Uh, we'll be doing her every month from here on out. Baseball's over and basketball's fucking taking over. Um, check the link in the bio, follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Keep up to date with what we're doing. Um, sell merch as well. That link is in the bio as well. So go cop some merch, support the boys. And, uh, until next month, go Lakers, go Raptors, I guess. And, uh, oh, yeah, I guess. This is a, let's chalk this all up to the Kyle Lowry effect boys. Oh, damn right.